I'm Brian May in the Cal OES Newsroom. No question California has been on the receiving end of getting help from other states. Well, this week it's time to repay the favor to our neighbors at least on the East Coast. Hurricane Florence slamming into the Carolina coast. It is a Category 2 hurricane, but the storm surge could be as high as 9 to 13 feet in some areas. That's equal to the second story of a house. Eight urban search and rescue teams from California, much like the ones you see here, have been deployed to support response efforts. California also sending dozens of emergency managers from Cal OES who will help coordinate response and recovery. This is a chance for California to pay back the help we've received over the past several months with our ongoing record fire season. It's always better to give mutual aid than to receive it. And uh, in the last two years, we've seen so much mutual aid in the state uh, come from all over the country and internationally. Yeah. It's, it's good to be able to uh, send our folks out and be real honest. Uh, our folks, uh, you know, train for this, uh, especially the urban search and rescue teams. Uh, their adrenaline's up. Uh, they're very excited to get out the door. Even our own emergency management staff here at OES, it's always, it's always nice to go to somebody else's house than always hosting here. As the East Coast braces for Hurricane Florence, back home here in California, disaster survivors are facing several deadlines following the wildfires earlier this summer. With more on those deadlines, here's Monica Vargas. Thanks, Brian. The recovery and cleanup efforts from this summer's wildfires continues in numerous counties in California. In Shasta County, the Department of Toxic Substances Control, or DTSC, will continue household hazardous waste through Friday, September 21st. After that, there will be a state-coordinated program to remove debris from properties. To participate in that program, property owners are required to sign a right of entry form, also known as an ROE. The deadline to turn in ROE forms for Shasta County is September 30th. Very important date, September 30th. If residents choose to opt out of that program, all debris must be removed by November 7th. The Shasta County Debris Removal Operations Center is located at 1300 Hilltop Drive in Reading. They can also be reached at 925-216-3028. For those in Siskiyou County, the Siskiyou County Debris Removal Operations Center is at 1312 Fairlane Road in Wairika. They can be reached at 925-983-9002. These centers are resources for impacted property owners where they can turn in ROEs and get answers to questions. There are also two disaster recovery centers currently open to help wildfire survivors. The Lake County Disaster Recovery Center is located at the Tribal Community Center, 9460 Main Street in Upper Lake. It's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. The Shasta County Disaster Recovery Center is located at the former Kmart, 2685 Hilltop Drive in Reading. It's also open from 9 to 6, Monday through Saturday. The deadline to apply for federal assistance with FEMA is October 3rd. So if you haven't done so yet, you can do so by visiting one of the disaster recovery centers online at disasterassistance.gov or by calling 800-621-3362. The disaster recovery centers will transition to SBA disaster loan outreach centers as of Monday, September 17th. There's still time to apply with SBA for economic injury disaster loans, as that deadline is not until May 2019. Representatives from FEMA will continue to provide services at the disaster loan outreach centers through the registration deadline. Brian? Thanks, Monica. And if you suffered damage or loss of property during the recent wildfires, continue to check your local county website for important dates, deadlines, and information. And from all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.